ladies and gentlemen, the unknown species. Welcome back. E As always, I'm Exedobytes, and this is the Poke Flute in Digimon Fire Red. Actually, it's the Digiflute, but it's the same difference. So I'm gonna capture Snorlax because why not? So, remember last episode I said it was really hot? Well... It's not as hot now? I had the AC on for, for a good bit. I don't know how long it's been since I recorded the last episode, but it's been some time. I mean, the AC is off now, so you know, it is It's pretty warm now, but... It's okay. I think. I hope. If I melt in this episode, you'll know why. So we got the rod. The super rod of goodness. And we had to fight some more trainers and work away towards Fuchsia City. Also, I changed the front line. And it might have been a bad idea to change the front line. Because I think that's actually an electric type. And I'm also poison gassed. I'm poisoned. Bad idea having Cedramon's only level 25 up front. So, you know, I probably will change. Let's just go for some. I did not want to go for that. That's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I want to do. At least Seedramon will level up after this. His health is back in the green at least. Octomon. Um. Yeah, sure, Magnangemon, why not? Or excuse me, Crobat. Um, yeah, we'll go for a bite. See how much it does. Not that much. Uh, then we'll just go for Astonish, because it's... Stab. And he flinched, sweet. And he flinched again. And Magna Angemon is gonna level up. It seems that my Pokemans are somewhat Digimans, excuse me, excuse me, are somewhat underleveled. Um, I mean, Confuse Ray is, eh, it's it's good, but when you have Wonder Guard, do you really need? Do you, do you actually need Confuse Ray? Probably not. If we're being honest. Thankfully, I do have an antidote. I was just thinking, I just super potioned him, and if I don't have an antidote, that would be a little sad, wouldn't it? I think we still have Metal Garoom on in our- yes, we do. So might as well, you know, fight this trainer and get this Digi Egg right over here. See what we can get. So, um... I remember last episode, I did say that, you know, Seedramon, in my first playthrough, he did evolve into Waru Seedramon, and then this, uh, this play to off, off screen, when I like massively trained him, he did evolve into, um, Mega Seedramon. Uh, reason I didn't keep it is because, um, I mean, I, I like, I was just curious. Oh my god, I was just curious on. Like, you know, what he would did evolve into, like what level he did evolve into Mega Seedramon. And you know, he he didn't did evolve into Waru Seedramon, he just skipped that step and did evolve into Mega Seedramon. And I'm pretty sure Waru Seedramon's an ultimate and Mega Seedramon's a Mega? Maybe I'm wrong. You know, if 
he gets a hit on me, he's gonna kill me. Or he's gonna use Thief. Which... Didn't kill me! Wow, okay, Seedramon, you are a beast. Although, I don't think I should be using you anymore. I'll probably use you and switch you out so you can at least get you up. Because you're kind of weak right now, Mr. Seedramon. And I don't want you to be weak. I want you to be strong. And I'm fighting a Magikarp. I can probably kill this Magikarp in one hit, so... <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. Magikarp is faster than Seedramon. That's hilarious. That is quite funny. You have to admit, that's pretty freaking funny. So Devimon did you well into my Otis Mon at level 40. Which is pretty good. Grizzly Wing. That's what I'm looking forward to. Grizzly Wing. Um, I will be training my, uh, my chomp up. This over here is just battles. There might be a hidden item there, but I'm not sure. I don't think so. Dude. You just walked past me and you didn't even want to battle. You were like, ah. Uh, I'm not ready to battle right now. Bite. Wow. Um, I wonder how much damage Rock Slide will do. It'll critical hit and kill him. That's what it'll do. 666 experience. Holy cap. Cap. Caperoni. Caperoni and cheese. That's the greatest dish of all time. Caperoni and cheese. Imperial Dramon Fighter Mode. Uh, do I have any... I mean, I know I have an Ice move, but he's dead, my Ice Man. Aside from that, no, I do not have anything worthwhile. Uh, so, uh, we will summon... You know what? We'll go with, uh, Magni Jimon. We'll confuse Rayham, and then we'll just do a lot of attacks. Confuse Ray. Maybe he'll hit himself a few times, and if he does, that'll obviously be great. And then eventually he he'll just die. Why would you go for frothy spit? When you likely have so much better attacks. Uh, let's go for wing attack. Because if he flinches, then there's no point in having Confuse Ray on him. There we go, that's what I want to see. Not a bad battle at all. With a reasonable amount of experience. Alright, Magnanjumon, you go. Alright, let's continue going down here and fight this bird trainer. And... How do I remember that he's a bird trainer? Well, I don't really know how I remember, I just remember. I've probably fought him enough times to remember, I guess. Also, maybe because of the way he looked. Bird trainers probably look like that, I guess. Maybe. Maybe not. Renamon! She's in my Digimon World 3! Yay! Digimon World 3 is a pretty good game. Pretty good. Pretty good game. My Renamon is my highest level. Although, not my strongest at the moment. Oh, you guys don't know what's in store for the next Digimon video, do you? Oh, you guys don't even know. Oh, man. It's gonna be beautiful when you see it. It'll be beautiful. 
It is quite beautiful. You'll know why the second you see it, and you'll be like, oh my god. This is the greatest movie of all time, even though it's not a movie. Uh, you are going to die when I do not get flinched, do not- Yeah! Revenge will absolutely destroy you, Gabumon. Absolutely. That's what you get when you let your heart win. That's a song. Oh, Ice Ball, that is painful. Too bad, you're dead. Goodbye, Gabumon. You should be a Garurumon, level 24. You evolve at like 16 or 18. You know what this is making me want to play? Soul Silver. I've played Gold and Silver so many times. It's such a great game. Did they remake like Crystal? I don't. I, I don't think so, right? I don't. I don't think they did that. Uh, we will go for Acid. That did a lot less damage than I was expecting. That shouldn't do too much. Critical hit. Uh, yeah, we will go for Rock Slide. Oh yeah. Yeah, but anyways, I don't know, did they ever remake- I, I know they remade Heart Gold and Soul Silver, or Gold and Silver, but did they ever remake, um... Crystal version? I don't think so. I haven't heard anything about it. But if they did, that would be cool, and I would love- I, I would love to play through that game. It's been such a long time. Gold and Silver were were such great games. I actually really enjoyed it. I mean, 16 badges, so much content, being able to catch both legendaries, Ho-Ho -Ho and Lugia. There's just so much good in that game. I wish more games did that. Really, I do. I wish more games did that. Where you can catch both legendaries. I have 18 badges. Uh, 16, not 18. Excuse me. 16 badges. It was just such a great... That was dumb cheeks. It was just such a good game. I... I should- I, I, I might end up playing through it sometime. I'll, I'll most likely- it's on DS, right? I'm pretty sure it's on Nintendo DS. I'll, I'll most likely- because I don't have a 3DS. But I do have a DS. I'll most likely play through it at some point. Um, it's been a while. I remember For Alligator was pretty awesome. Meganium was pretty awesome. Typhlosion, pretty awesome. Oh man. Those are all pretty awesome. What else was there? Totodile was a starter, Cyndaquil, and Chikorita. Oh man, Chikorita's the best! But, um... Bayleaf, Bayleaf is also pretty good. Bayleaf, Chikorita, Bayleaf, Meganium, they're all pretty good. Then you have Cyndaquil, Quilava, and Typhlosion. I don't think I liked uh, Quilava all that much, but I did like Cyndaquil and uh, Typhlosion quite a bit. Then you have um, Totodile, Crocona, and then for Alligator. Oh yeah, those were the days. For Alligator is pretty awesome. You have to admit, pretty awesome. Um, who would I pick as a starter if I were to play it? Oh man, that's a tough one because they're all pretty awesome. Oh man, I, th I think, I think I'd probably have to go Typhlosion. I mean, um, not Typhlosion. 
for alligator. I think I'd have to go to for alligator. For alligator's pretty freaking awesome. But I do, do, do really like Meganium. If I want Meganium, i definitely catch the red Gyarados and put him on my team. If I want Meganium. If I went for Alligator, I would not do that. Uh, if I went Typhlosion, hmm, maybe. Uh, maybe I'd, I'd get that red Gyarados. But I think I'd actually rather go for like Slowbro or something. If I went Typhlosion, I think so. So we're going to put Magnet Angemon in the front. But, man, if you guys play or have played and beaten um, Pokemon Soul Silver or Heart Gold, man, tell, let me know. It's got to be it's gotta be up there for a lot of people. Gold and Silver were, were up there for me. They were up there for me. Oh man, I'm sure it must have been up there for other people as well. And then the reboot, Hard Gold and Soul Silver must have been just as good. Oh man, if you guys have played it, let me know. Who did you pick? Man, who did you pick as your starter? Who should I pick as my starter? I should play through the game. I should. Our gold and soul silver. Oh man. On a side note, um, I got a PS TV a while ago. Do any of you guys have PS TVs? What's a good game to buy? That I'll probably end up not buying, but I will buy maybe like 10 years in the future. So just let me know today. So 10 years from now in 2026, in year 2026, I can comment back and let you know that, look, I finally bought the game. And you can be very happy. You you would be the person that recommended the game to me. And you can say, that's, that's good. You bought the game. I'm glad you bought the game. Good thing you bought the game. I'm sure you're enjoying the game. And you'll be like, look, I've beaten this game like 62 times at this point. But I, I'll, I'll give you some tips. Just never give up. I know the final boss is a poop head. Um, he has an attack called Pooping Tom. And it's a one hit KO move. And I'll be like, yeah, I, I, I know. I'm actually stuck on the final boss right now. And Pooping Tom is such a difficult thing. It's, it's powerful. It's painful. Um... I'm sure, I'm sure I will eventually beat him. Blue Dragon. Have you guys ever played Blue Dragon for the 360? There's also an anime. And there's also two Nintendo DS games. I've played, I think Blue Dragon Plus was it for the Nintendo DS? I, I think I've played that one. I never beat it or anything, but I have beaten, um, I've beaten, um, Blue Dragon for the 360. It's a great game, especially when you like do everything, you fight like the secret boss, you get like the secret items and all that good stuff. You train everything to 99, you train the characters and, and all of the dragons to 99. It's it's good. It is good. Blue Dragon's a good game. It's a long game, it's a really long game. Like a really long game. If you haven't played it, you should play it. It's 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 worth it. It's worth the like 50 or so hours I put into it. I don't actually know how much I put into it. I don't know if I, I actually have no idea how long, how long the game is because I last time I played it was like six four years ago maybe six four years ago. It's, I know it's been a while since I played the game, and I'm sure it's still a good game. Actually, I know it's still a good game because I still think about it from time to time. And I want to play it from time to time. I've been flame bodied. Well, I guess that means we go into Metal Greymon. 
probably a dumb idea to go into Metal Greymon. I forgot how tiny Metal Greymon was. Wow. You okay, Metal Man? Um, Crush Claw maybe is good. Maybe it's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I mean, I, w I would prefer you not lower my accuracy, dog. Because, like, yeah. C can you stop lowering my accuracy, dog? There we go. Sun Moon. Sun Moon, what the heck? I also, I wanted to switch, but because I said Sun Moon and that, like, confused the poops out of me. Just like Poop Headmon with his Pooping Tom attack. That one, it KOs everybody. Just like that. You know, you've gotten, like, four smoke screens on me. You and your little partner, Sunmon. You, you're going to make me... You're going to make me want to throw... Throw a Master Ball at you. Even though it's gonna miss. This must be smoke screen number six. There's no way that that's not smoke screen number six. Metal Greymon. Metal Greymon. You... Oh my god, Metal Greymon. You have to be kidding me, Metal Greymon. Metal Greymon! Don't miss! You... I'm not gonna switch out. If... If you want to take 16 years, then take 16 years. Good. Alright. Um, I don't think there's anything over here. Yeah, there's not. There are a few more trainers, but we're gonna end the episode off here. So, next time we'll most likely enter Fuchsia City. But anyways, thank you guys all for watching, and if you enjoyed this video in any capacity, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and as always, don't forget to rub the rubber ducky. Do you go, I got the key,